Now it's Men's Health Week and this year the focus is on diabetes. It is New Zealand's fastest growing health crisis, directly affecting almost a quarter of a million people. It's thought there are another 100,000 who have diabetes but just don't know. Joining us to talk Men's Health, star of Married at First Sight, successful one too, Brent Reynolds. Well, good morning to you. Hey, how you going? It's really nice to have you here in the studio because this is quite fascinating. Um, are you surprised by how many Kiwis are affected by diabetes? Yes, yeah, especially the number you said of undiagnosed. So there's like hundreds of thousands of people out there watching today that can potentially have diabetes. That number um, is quite you know, overwhelming. Um, that people out there may be feeling a bit dehydrated, a bit tired and just think it's part of their normal life, but it's not. They, they potentially have what we call pre-diabetes. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you can do, can't you? You just feel tired and you just feel knackered because you're, you're busy, you've got a stressful life. Um, so what could men be doing to avoid pre-diabetes? Um, well, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, you can go to, uh, well, the, the main thing you can do to eat pre-diabetes is get your health and your, um, so your exercise and your eating sorted. Um, yeah, I mean, but the more you exercise and the more you eat better, the less likely you are to get um, diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Um, so yeah, the more you can look after yourself, the better really on that front. Mm, this is something you are quite, uh, you know a bit about diabetes, don't you? Yes, I'm a type 1 diabetic mm. um, and I've had that since 1990, my whole life just about. So um, yeah, I'm very passionate about diabetes and men's health this year has chosen that as their disease, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and right on board with Men's Health Week and diabetes again. Do you think men are getting a little bit better about talking about their health issues? Um, I do. I think like social media has been great. There's definitely um, folk talking about it. Uh, I still think we can improve, and that's um, what Men's Health Week's all about. Um, you can go on the Men's Health website and do an Acuro um, self-test check um, and get a score for that, and find out where you're at. And that's something um, that's really good. And yeah, the more Men's Health Week we can get people talking about it, that's the whole idea of it is to get, gain awareness for men's health. Yeah. Mm. So that Acuro test that gives you basically an, an idea of where you should, where you're sitting in the sort of the healthy stakes. Yes. Yeah. You get a score for that. Um, yeah, it just gives you an idea and it gives you some feedback of, of steps to go from there as well. Oh, that's fascinating. should get all of our men folk to do that, including Mike. I should get my, my, my work husband to do it and see what he turns out, because I think he's done it before, but I'd like to see what he gets again now, actually, with his healthy lifestyle. Um, I got 32. OK, you got 32. Fine, Mike, fine. Are there regular checks that men should be getting? Yeah, there are. And what, one of the great things about Men's Health Week is um, for the month of June, you can go to any um, Unichem or Life Pharmacy and get a Blackmore's health test done. Um, so really, it would be a great idea to go that and you get some professional advice. But yeah, men should be going to the doctor a lot more, getting um, things like prostate and cash roll done. Um, the great thing now is with when you go to a GP and get a blood test done now, they will actually test that for diabetes. It's part of it. Wow. Um, yeah, so I think as men... And part of this whole week, the more we can get guys going to the doctor, the better. That's the thing, isn't it? Guys say, oh, I'm too busy or I just can't get round to it. And they don't go and get checked out. Uh, and they can sit on things, which makes them obviously far, far worse than they would be. Um, what do you do to stay healthy in general? Um, I guess I'm pretty active. Um, I'm currently playing rugby at the moment. Um, I play touch rugby, go snowboarding, cricket. So I'm very active and I think that has been a key to my diabetic success um, over my whole life is playing sport, yeah. keeping active. Um, yeah, and a, and a big thing I think is your health is your wealth. That was my grandfather's saying and um, yeah, we put a big price on certain things in life, but I think health should be number one for yeah. sure. Uh, they're focusing a little bit too on rural men's health this um, Men's Health Week because uh, obviously men in the rural community sometimes don't talk as much as they should do about the problems that they have. Yeah, exactly. Um, they're going to be at field days this year and um, the rural thing's a massive thing. I mean, a lot of, I live in Lincoln, but um, a lot of people in the rural think it's harder to get to a GP, which, you know, can be true, but get online, do that test, talk with a family or friend or anything you can. Yeah. Um, actually put in the effort to go to the doctor. I know when I go to do all my diabetes tests, go to the doctor, I, I leave and I feel really good, even if... I don't get much out of it, but the fact that I went. Yeah, and it's just a yeah. relief to know that you're doing something. Um, OK, so we've, we've covered off men's health. I'm pretty happy about that. But I do want to yeah. ask you why you're still here. Married at first sight. You're the one successful New Zealand contestant. You and Angel yep, together. Yeah, the ring on, yeah. Uh, and the new, the new season is coming soon. Any tips for the, the people that are going to be involved? Well, get a health test done. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. good one. Yeah, that's really good. Get that done. But, yeah, I mean, it's just like everything in life. Have an open heart. You know, um, don't be judgmental. Definitely give them some time. Stick it out. Me and Angel did, and we've 
we've had great great time from it and um yeah good luck to everyone applying awesome yeah. living the dream hey it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you uh, and good that you're getting your health sorted out also yeah. i think uh, females women if your man is a little bit reticent about going to the doctor maybe just give him a gentle nudge or make that appointment for him then he'll have to go thank you so much brett cheers